right, welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll teach you how to do binomial expansion. And for the expansion, we'll make use of the Pascal's triangle. So what I'm going to do now, first of all, is to create the Pascal's triangle. Just watch. All right. One. 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 One plus one is two. One. One. One plus two. Three. Two plus one. Three. One. One again. One plus three. Four. Three plus three. Six. Three plus one. Four. One. One. One plus four. Five. Four plus six. Ten. Six plus four. Ten. Four plus one. Five. One. One again. One plus five. Six. Five plus ten. Fifteen. Ten plus ten. Twenty. Ten plus five. Fifteen. Five plus one. Six. Then one. One again. One plus six. Seven. Six plus fifteen. Twenty one. Fifteen plus twenty. Thirty five. Twenty plus fifteen. Thirty five. Fifteen plus six. Twenty one. Six plus one. Seven. One. So let's stop here. This is the Pascal's triangle. We can go on and on, but let's just stop here. This coefficient is for the expansion of this binomial. Let's see x plus y, that is raised to the power of zero. These coefficients are for this binomial, x plus y raised to the power of one. This for x plus y raised to the power of two x plus y raised to the power 3, we have this coefficient, and so on and so forth. My first question here is to expand 2 plus x to the power of 4. Okay, I'm going to make use of this Pascal's triangle. Allow me to write 2 plus x to the power of 4 as x plus 2 to the power of 4. It's the same thing, 2 plus x, x plus 2, but I always like to write my x before the number, okay? But even if you expand it the same way, we will obtain the same result. x plus 2 here is to the power of 4. So that means I'm going to make use of this coefficient. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. These are the coefficients that I will use to expand this. Just watch how it's going to be done. The first coefficient here is 1. 1, then multiply it by the x to the power of 4, then times this 2 to the power of 0, plus the second coefficient is 4, multiplied by the x, this time around 4 minus 1, that will be 3, times 2 to the power of 1, the next coefficient is 6. 6 multiplied by x, it will now be 2 to the power of 2. Then, times 2 to the power of 2. The powers of x are decreasing, the powers of 2 are increasing. Plus, the next coefficient, 4, times x, this time around to the power of 1, then, times 2 to the power of 3. Then lastly, we have 1 times x to the power of what? 0 times 2 to the power of 4. This is where the expansion will stop. So let's simplify it. x to the power of 4 times 1 is x to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 0 is 1. So everything here is x raised to the power of 4. 2 raised to the power of 1 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 8x cubed. 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. 24x squared. 2 raised to the power of 3 is 8. 8 times 4 is 32. 
x to the power of 1, which is 32x. x raised to the power of 0 is 1. 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16. This is the expansion of x plus 2 or 2 plus x all to the power of 4. Let us expand 3x minus 2 all to the power of 5. There is a slight difference in the structure. When we are expanding binomials using the Pascal's triangle, we always have a plus at the middle. But here we are having a minus. So I want to rewrite this expression as 3x plus that minus 2 will be in brackets, all raised to the power of 5. I hope you get this. This is what we are expanding. 3x plus minus 2, all to the power of 5. So since the power here is 5, let us see the coefficient that we are going to make use of. The coefficient that corresponds to a binomial raised to the power of 5 is 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. So we'll make use of this to expand that expression. Let's go ahead. The coefficients are 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Okay? 3x is a single term. Minus 2 is a single term. The first coefficient is 1. 1 times 3x raised to power 5, which is this 5. Then times minus 2 raised to power 0. Plus... The second coefficient is 5. 5 times 3x raised to the power 4 times minus 2 raised to the power 1. The powers of 3x are decreasing. The powers of minus 2 are increasing. Plus 10 times 3x raised to the power of what? 3 times minus 2 raised to the power of what? 2. Plus, the fourth coefficient is 10. 10 times 3x to the power of 2 now, times minus 2 to the power of 3. Plus, the next coefficient is 5. 5 times 3x to the power of 1, times minus 2 to the power of 4, and lastly, the last coefficient is 1. 1 times 3x to the power of 0 times minus 2 to the power of 5. At this point, we we'll stop. And this is equal to, let's simplify it. Minus 2 to the power of 0 is 1. Okay? 3x raised to the power of 5. What is it equal to? This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 5, x to the power of 5. So 3 to the power of 5 is 243. 243, then x to the power of 5 as well. Here we have 5 times 3 to the power of 4. Take note, this 3 is carrying this power of 4. The 4 is affecting both the 3 and the x. So we have 5 times 3 to the power of 4 times minus 2, because minus 2 to the power of 1 is minus 2, okay? 3 to the power of 4 is 81. 5 times minus 2 is minus 10. So, minus 10 times 81 is minus 810. Then, this x to the power of 4, x to the power of 4. Minus 2 squared is 4. 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So 27 times 4 is 108. 108 times 10 is 1080. 1080 times the x to the power of 3. Minus 2 to the power of 3 is minus 8. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. Minus 8 times 9 is Minus 72. Minus 72 times 10 is minus 720. Then times x raised to the power 2. Minus 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Positive 16. Okay? 3 to the power of 1 is 3. 
3 times 16 is 48. 48 times 5 is 240. 240 x to the power of 1. Because this is x to the power of 1. Okay. 3x all raised to the power of 0 is 1. So we have minus 2 to the power of 5, which will give us minus 32. So this is the expansion of 3x minus 2 all to the power of 5. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share this video to your friends and to your classmates. I will see you in the next one.